gentrification impacting American urban centers. basic essentials that humans need to live their day-to-day -day lives. Water, food, and most importantly, shelter. This is where my question comes in. How is human gentrification impacting urban areas? To answer this question, we must first examine about what is gentrification, then we're going to look at urban centers and how gentrification impacts it, and finally we're going to look at how it impacts it and the answer to the question of how gentrification impacts US America, the US urban centers. To begin, let's examine a little bit about gentrification. According to Webster's Dictionary, uh, the gentry is the act of living in a higher power, living in a higher class. Essentially, if you are a gentry, you are in a higher position of living than the middle class or the lower class. So, if we take this into account, according to NPR, on February 7th, 2021, gentrification is the living stance of, is the, is the act of pushing this higher living standpoint. Which sounds great if you think about it, but if, if you don't think about it, but if you think about it, Gentrification just adds more problems on top of it. There are going to be more, st more stacking up and the economy is going to skyrocket, but also it is going to skyrocket prices in living areas. Let's dive into it. Let's look more into how gentrification is impacting. Well, according to the BBC, on January 21st, 2021, Gentrification is already impacting so many people's lives. The pushing of it is causing more people to leave and move out of where they are living. In this circumstance, it is currently slowing down people's living and the homelessness is skyrocketing significantly. According to Al Jazeera on January 10th, 2021, with this gentrification though, does allow more expansive expansion and more people living in that certain area. But in many ways, it is currently slowing down and impacting in a wrong way for the common man, the common person. Let's examine what a little bit about how gentrification is currently taking people away. According to Scott Foster of NPR, gent and when Petco Park showed up, Petco Baseball Park, the place exploded. There were million dollar hotels, there were people, there were people living in a higher class. It, it added to the economy and helped out in the longer run. But it caused places like the projects to be significantly lowered. People were moving out of their, moving out of their community and having less impact in the long run. It didn't help that they were already struggling. Because according to Al Jazeera on January 30th, 2021, the coronavirus has already caused that much of an issue. The coronavirus has already impacted so many people's livelihoods. Less people are going to their jobs, more people are becoming sick, people are dying, and with the added gentrification, it just causes more assault to the wound. So, overall, I examined a little bit about gentrification and what it was, then I looked at how it was impacting urban areas, and finally I examined why it was a bad thing and why it was not helping the common man. So how is gentrification impacting U.S. urban areas? Well, it's not turning out very well for many people. The common man is currently being stripped away of what, of what a lot of us have worked so hard for but it is helping the economy in the long run. It's whether or not the people want to help out the common man 
or the wealthy man help stimulate the economy? All right, maybe excused.